Well, there's a professor at uh, Stanford named John Ioannidis. It's a Greek name. And he's been pretty good on COVID for quite a while. And he's written, I, I believe he wrote what may be one of the most widely read medical journal articles of all time. And it's called something like um, why most published research is wrong. It's something like that's really provocative. But it's from 2005. And just a few weeks ago, Retraction Watch tweeted out that John Ioannidis' 2005 paper just earned a correction. Well, when you look at what this alleged correction was, it was, it was missing a closed parenthesis in a formula. But they, they give no context. They just say, yep, you know, he had to be corrected, which, of course, is meant to make it look like you really can't trust this guy. You know, I mean, we actually had to go out of our way to tell you he had to have a paper corrected. Well, even the former uh, dean of Harvard Medical School, which is not exactly a uh, listener of your podcast, Pete, even he <laughs> had to time. say, look, <laughs> well, OK, maybe perhaps in secret. Right. <laughs> he's not openly. He's not wearing the T-shirt. We'll put it that of way. Of course. Yeah. But but this dean even said on Twitter, look, this is obviously unfair to Professor Ioannidis. I mean, to, to just put this up there with no context and just and, and put this up, this is obviously meant to embarrass him. It was a missing parenthesis. He is owed an apology from Retraction Watch. It, it just goes to show that what we all know, we all know that there's an agenda behind these things. And I was subjected to one of these. I actually had a fact check on a talk I gave. It was only a 20-minute talk back around November of 2020. And it was called the COVID cult. And I was never there. Had, yeah, you were there. That's right. It was great. I mean, and it was it was an unmasked audience, which was really great. I loved that. Uh, which was very hard to find uh, a venue yeah. in November 2020. And, and the people who worked there were wearing masks when we got there, and they were taking their masks off by the taking time. Their we masks were off. Off. Yeah, I got to tell you, take a mask off story uh, after I finish this. So okay. I gave this talk. It had a lot of charts. The charts make these people look ridiculous, and the video got a million and a half views and then was taken down. And when it was taken down, I got the, the uh, they rubbed salt in the wound by accompanying it with a fact check. And I, so I devoted one of my podcast episodes to going through and refuting the stupid fact check. But it, it was really dumb. It was really a dumb fact check. And, and like one of the things was I made brief mention of the so-called Great Barrington Declaration, which had said we shouldn't have society-wide lockdown. We should let people kind of decide their own risk profile, but certainly let the young pr proceed with their lives and the, the arts should be open and all this other stuff. And I made oblique reference to that, and they called me on that. They said, well, some health officials say that's a bad idea. How's that a fact check? Okay, <laughs> some do, but some don't. So why am I getting dinged for that? So the whole thing is ridiculous. 